Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Afro Pop and a special one for that matter. I'm excited because the lady sitting next to me has mastered the art of blogging. She's here to tell us all about it. Miss Clarice Dinge is here with us today in studio. Hey Clarice, she's my friend. I'm proud to brag that she's my friend, Simonami. And uh, she's wearing yellow. Nous sommes jaune toutes les deux. Donc, uh, yes. Comment tu vas, Clarisse? Je vais très bien, merci et toi. Ça va super bien. <laughs> you know I love you. Right? I have to tell I them, so, yeah. like, so, our first encounter. Right? Like, yes. face to face. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first time we meet, officially meet, because we've been talking on, yeah. on social media, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it's. I think I was invited to do a radio show. Radio show, yes. And, uh, like, you were sitting in front of me all this time. <laughs> And interviewing me, did you? You were interviewing me yeah, as well, you know? Yeah. And I had no idea when, uh, I, I'm sure just a few days earlier, I was thanking you mm -hmm. for putting our stuff, like with one of my uh, uh, clients, Numerica um, stuff on uh, Afri Africa, Afri Africa Magic, Africa Magic. Okay. and I was like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. And when you introduce your, your, your introduced yourself, I was like, wow, is this you? <laughs> like the magic of social media, like we chat, you know, yeah. and uh, we without necessarily meeting, other, you yes. know. And uh, I was really touched Aww. and humbled. Yeah. You wrote a special, a special message for me on Instagram. <laughs> she told me I was her inspiration, yes. you know, elle m'a dit que j'étais une inspiration pour elle, yes. et ça m'a super touché. So, obviously, I had to have you here, yeah. uh, because of course I respect your work, the work you do, you. the passion, the hustle, mm -hmm. I know how hard it is, especially yeah. as women, you know, yeah. in, this, in this industry, mm -hmm. in this country. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me, it's a pleasure. Oh my I'm goodness, so it is a pleasure. <laughs> you need to to tell the people, the viewers at home, what blogging is all about. Because nowadays, anyone is just a blogger. What is a blogger? Blogging, a blogger is somebody who consistently puts information on a certain, social, a certain, a certain media platform online. Mm -hmm. It could be on social media, it could be on a web space like Blogger, WordPress. But then a blogger is somebody who consistently, um, you know, insisting on the word consistent because if you don't consistently put up information on your blog or on your maybe social media, yeah. because there are people who blog on YouTube, mm -hmm. that's a social media platform, there are people who blog on Facebook, there are people who blog on Instagram, you know, so if you don't, if you're not consistent in whatever it is you're doing, then you shouldn't be called a blogger. A blogger. Yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. Okay. So, you know, with the advent of social media, blogging is easy these days. At first, it wasn't really easy because you needed to have, you know, maybe create a, a Blogspot account. And mm -hmm. everybody can manage, mm. you know, using um, spaces online. So, it was not as easy as it is now. Now, there are many platforms that one can use. Mm -hmm. There's Tumblr, there's, there's um, Facebook, yeah. there's... Instagram, the Snapchat, people even, you know, do use Snapchat to blog and make sure. money these days. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's in a nutshell what blogging is all about. It's all about. And I must say, you, you actually fall in that category. You are a real blogger because you post like every day. <laughs> every day I get notifications and I'm like, this girl is really, like she really yeah. means business. So tell us more about your, your blog. So I, I run two blogs at the moment, bettertins.com and bettergirls.org. Bettertins.com is an information blog, mm -hmm. information and entertainment blog. So it's basically, you know, updating people with what's going on in Cameroon mm -hmm. and the world at large. Yeah. And then giving them daily entertainment stories as well. Gossip. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. what I'm more interested in. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I, Better Things is not really about um, rumors or gossip yeah. per se. It's mm -hmm. not about real stories. Like, real stories. So the entertainment stories we post on Better Things are yeah. real stories. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't make up stories like some people okay. do. Okay. Yeah. We, we, we want to keep that, that authenticity around. 
around whatever it is that we mm. do. So we always verify information before we put it out there. Good. Yes, so that's 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 the position we want to you know take in the web space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to provide authentic information, entertainment, and and real news. Yeah. yeah. So why 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 blogging? Why did you choose it as a because career? Because I actually I'm a very opinionated person. Really? Like, really? <laughs> I'm Are you serious, class? Honestly. I've known you for all like all these years, and <laughs> yes, I actually have opinions about everything. So um, at first, I used to I used to tweet a lot about what I thought. But like realized, me, yeah. and it has gotten me into so much, so much trouble. trouble. <laughs> yeah. But then I realized that tweets disappear. Like they, people don't really pay attention. Yeah. But then if you have a space online, like a blog, it's something that will be there for as long as you know you keep it online. People will be able to read whatever it is that you write. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, why not take this thing so you know another level and actually you know create a space and you know talk and really speak my mind instead of just you know being on, being on Twitter and just you know saying things that people are not even going to pay attention mm -hmm. to. So that's how I decided to start blogging. At first it was just for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember my first post I can never forget it was about whiskey. Okay. <laughs> there was he there was one time I started blogging in 2013. Oh. And there was um, whiskey was was you know trending on social media that day because he allegedly the people I say allegedly because I don't think it's that's what he did. Okay. People say he insulted a fan because okay. somebody you know said um, he made a tweet and somebody said he should go back to school because he, actually what he said was I think he said um, I had an hangover mm -hmm. and it could have been a typo maybe it could have been he wanted to oh, say a hangover, a hangover. And, you know, yeah. and a fan came and you know wrote and said. Um, Go back to school with all the money you have, you cannot oh, spare. Wow. You know, so people were dragging, and then whiskey responded and said, "I don't know why broke people think they always have oh, something to say." How did I miss that? <laughs> so he was trending. People were dragging whiskey, calling him proud, and I was like, "But this is this is not. There's nothing wrong with what he said. Like he was defending himself. Yeah. You know, if this guy was a fan, he should not have taken." You know the other side of it like why did he not think that was a typo why did he have to call whiskey out and tell him to go back to school no human being would like to be humiliated like that in public mm -hmm. so that was my opinion about it i felt mm -hmm. that the fan was you know rude and whiskey had the right to defend himself yeah so that's how I, you know, created it. My first, that was my first. Activity. So how was like the feedback at the and time? It was interesting, feedback. you know. People, yeah. I, 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 that was on blogspot.com. Okay. So I checked out my dashboard the next day, and I saw like I had like 175 people had read the article. I was like, oh, okay, this thing is interesting. So yeah. uh, up to the 175 people I read, I, I just I was like, okay. So let me just keep posting, and that's how the blog was born, mm -hmm. you know. And from then, I did not even have a laptop. I now have internet, so I used to go to the cyber when like wow. to go and post. It was just interesting. I was just passionate about it because I was like, okay, wow. The fact that people are reading this thing, let me not let them down. Let me just keep, you know. So <laughs> every day I'll run and go to the cyber. If I had money, if I don't have money, I'll stay at home. <laughs> you know, that's how it started. And uh, from then, I, I I mean, I started, you know, gaining popularity. I mean, the blog started having, you know, getting an audience. People started mm -hmm. paying attention. And I was like, okay, let me take these things to the next level. I wanted something that was going to represent what I really want to represent in the world, which is positivity, goodness, yeah, sure. and just good things. So that's why I named it Better Things. I love that name, by the yeah. way. So, and then uh, it was Better Things on blogspot.com. And, mm -hmm. and then I got a domain name. Mm -hmm. So it became betterthings.com. For like the first three years, it was just out of passion. I was not making money out of it. You know, I was just keeping people entertained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, what about now? Are you? So now, is the money coming in? Yes, actually. Now I I make money from the blog, nice. through advertisements. You know, mm, I get people who reach out to me that mm -hmm. okay, we want to you know advertise on your blog. So you know they pay for advert spaces mm -hmm. on the blog now, and also from AdSense. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I have traffic enough. You know, I make some money from AdSense too. Yeah. So that's how. I, at least I'm making money out of it now. But at first I was. <laughs> okay. So what's the most like, um, I want to ask the biggest, the biggest story you've posted with the highest, highest ratings. The Can you think of any? Can you think of the biggest story I have posted? 
it, yeah, that could have come up with backlash as well. I, I mean, yes. you know how people are on stories. social media. But most of the viral stories I get on the taxes are actually information stories. Okay. Like when I post something that maybe the president of the of Cameroon had made this speech with this. People okay. Check out those All right. Things. Okay. More. Okay. As well, yeah. Of course, entertainment stories get hits, but they don't get as much as much hits as the news. Stories. Oh wow. That's that's what I really on, yes. People, you know, yeah, okay, yeah, Daphne has a new song, people check it out, but then mm. when you talk about something that really, you know, affects people, like, mm -hmm. okay, there was an accident in oh, this yeah, place, you course, know, people check sense. out kind of True. things. So, I think my biggest stories have been news stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my biggest stories. Any challenges you're facing? Yes, of course. I face, like I mentioned, I don't have a laptop. <laughs> so, I used to go to the server in the beginning. Yes. I was like, well, you know, raise enough money to buy a laptop. Mm -hmm. And then in the beginning, people, you know, were not taking me seriously. They were like, ah, well, this is another, you know, person who wants to come online and just say stuff, you know. But then, you know, my consistency just, you know, proved people wrong. And it was not yeah, easy to true. keep posting. <clears throat> and right now, I, because of the many other things I do, mm -hmm. I have to get, you know, other people to help me. To work, to like work, a yeah, team. To write, yeah, I, need mm -hmm. to, I need to get a team to, you know, post articles on a blog as well. And it's not easy you know, um, growing an audience online and, you True. know, keeping them, um, keeping them loyal to what you're doing. So that has been the challenge, but it has been very interesting so far. In interesting. Yes, with the growth and then, you know, the people who keep supporting, mm -hmm. it's, it's very interesting. Right? À part le, le blog, um, tu portes plusieurs casquettes, oui. donc uh, oui. parle une de tes projets. Bon, comme, tu, comme tu connais l'autre jour, oui. quand j'ai écrit um, le message que je t'ai écrit, oui. c'était par rapport aux um, les relations publiques. Oui. Oui, parce que je m'en souviens quand, um, quand j'ai connu, connu, connu ton nom dans l'industrie camerounaise, c'était comme un... Um, PR, comment on PR, oui, chargé de relations <laughs> publiques. Voilà. Oui, publicist. Donc, et, et la vérité, c'est que j'étais très active dans le monde musical, mm -hmm. dans l'industrie musicale, et mm -hmm. tu étais la seule personne que je voyais qui travaillait vraiment avec ses clients. En fait, tu étais la seule personne qui touchait toutes les facettes de la publicité. OK. Donc, tu étais la seule, la seule personne qui était en ligne, qui était euh, euh, au télé, dans les radios. Donc, tu étais la seule personne qui faisait vraiment les choses oh, ouais. comme je voyais que donc, ça doit être fait. Mm -hmm. Oui. So, I feel like every, everybody who is a, every public um, publicist or public relations person can be a blogger. Because mm -hmm. if you are a publicist, then you, you do strategic, you know, you know how to generate strategic content to, you know, you know suit the kind, of, the kind of market that you are targeting for your clients. So I feel like that's it's, it's very similar to what bloggers do because mm -hmm. you want to you want to get a certain number, a certain kind of people to read what you write. Mm -hmm. So you have to generate a certain kind of content, mm -hmm. and that's it's like that's what publicists do. People to come up to me, I'm like, I want you to be my public relations person. I'm like, what's public relations? And I googled it. I was like, okay. So I started following up, you know, following people in Africa who are public relations specialists. Mm -hmm. I checked out a lot of some people in Cameroon, but as I, like I told you, honestly, you're the only person that really got me in Cameroon. Okay. In Nigeria, there's Vanessa Amadi. Yeah. I look up to her a lot. Like, I used to follow her work, see what mm -hmm. she's doing, her clients. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I started learning, and I was like, okay, let me get into this thing. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of research on my own. So that's how I created an agency, Beta Media, Beta Media. which is um, a public relations media and events agency. So quickly, you are going to give us your three favorite mm -hmm. artists of the moment urban music oh. so we'll start with number three okay. yeah okay number three and b oh yeah, oh, yeah. hey ma Salatial on the beat hey huh. ma bobe magasco i'm betty sing danny ba yeah yeah abo fungu ba oh yeah yeah abo mbi oh yeah yeah Bosani, Bosani, ni ye. Dani ba ye ye. Abo fuku ba ye ye. Sasani, Sasani, ni ye. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Na for ba fuku i di go so. No, 
en bas de son, Mistalio, partout. Partout, ok. I, I love that song. Ouais. <rire> partout, partout, partout. Je reste debout, toujours avancé. Je saute par les pas. T'as tombé, déconné, merde. Moi j'en ai marre. Je viens viser. La balle a décollé. Nobody stop. Um. Nobody turn in my limo to keep que Batman a come when I did it. Me and my guy shut it down. I say let them know. Beaucoup des années gonna see me around. Let them know. Nobody run me down. I say let them know. Yeah, they all with the bad, but I don't let it fall down. Let them know. See me, I say. I've got a lot of fans everywhere. My music is on the radio. My melody is on the radio. Everywhere, everywhere. Look, my tour is buzzing everywhere. I want to do it under the radio. A lot of years, everywhere, everywhere. Number one, Salatiel, the form of Magale. Okay. La femme de ma galère Oh no 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 Ça la tient en de soigne De laisser J'ai eu des femmes dans ma vie Mais toi tu m'as marqué Elles sont venues et sont parties Mais toi tu vas rester Tu m'as appris à épargner M'a aimé quand j'étais rien When all the girls they be squalé, tu es resté à mes côtés alors. Si ce n'est pas toi que moi j'épouse, mieux je reste célibataire à vie. Et si ma famille te refuse, s'il te plaît, le jour du mariage, prête-moi ta famille. Je ne vais pas te laisser, te laisser. Non 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 te laisser. Te laisser que tu es la seule qui m'aime en vrai, la femme de ma galère, la seule qui m'aime sans intérêt, la cour de ma galère. Je peux pas te laisser. I love that song because he's talking about a woman that was faithful to him, you know, from when he was like that, you know, and it's it's a true story in his life. So and it's a positive message. You know that people, because people usually think about women who are putting their money around, you know those kind of girls, where girls mm -hmm. go with that. But mm -hmm. somebody is thinking about a woman who has been there for him from the one who made him. They were. You know, I'm, I'm just proud of the girls. Like, yeah. Of course, that's, that's what we're looking for anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing. Shout out to Salatia. Uh, so. Um, you know, I haven't talked about beta girls. I was talking about all of Tell us about today. beta girls. Yes, yeah, so the other platform, betagirls.org, mm -hmm. which is um, actually an association, but it's starting off, it started off as a blog, which is just a platform for girls to inspire girls. So we, we talk about um, everything that concerns women and girls and ladies, you wow. know, from um, hygiene to health to fashion wow. to relationships. Everything to parenting, you know, to just being a woman, to business. So that's that's the whole idea for Better Girls, mm -hmm. and we are developing it into um, an NGO. We we'll love <laughs> getting to your own Afro pop. Okay. So for you, this is what I'm going to do. You're a blogger, so you have to break us a story. <laughs> <laughs> Any story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want. You have the floor. Story. Okay. So I, I, I should create a story and just. Anything. Anything. It could be something that you might have posted already in the past or yeah, something new, something that you just created. Can you share something juicy with me? Like, <laughs> who did what? Like, <laughs> tell, share it with me now. Um, just a story, just a story. Uh, so, okay, Stanley, I know he's working on his new album and we are looking forward to it. We really want to hear his new stuff. We can't wait, Stanley. Yeah. I, we know that like, the pressure is real, but <laughs> you know you always deliver it, mm -hmm. no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> you tried to play it cool, but it's okay. That's not the kind of gist I wanted. But it's okay now. I'll take it. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you so much for being here. Because you played the game so well, although you didn't give me what I wanted. Tu m'as pas dit ce que je voulais entendre. C'est pas grave. Je suis gentille. Je vais t'offrir un cadeau. Rien que pour toi. C'est une tasse. Euh, just for you. Afropop. Pour toi, Clarisse. Euh... Thank you. This is nice. Oh my god. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I'll drink tea in this every day. <laughs> you love tea? Yeah, I love tea. Oh yes. I hate tea. But I'm more a coffee person. Uh, okay, okay. I'll drink tea. Okay. Every but... day in this cup. <laughs> okay, before we go, any contact? Social media? Yes, so I'm on social media. Clarice Nzinge. C-L-A-R-I-S-E-N-Z-I-N-G-E. So on Facebook, Clarice Nzinge. Twitter at Nzinge. Um, Instagram, Clarice Nzinge. Yeah. Well, there you have it, people. Miss Clarice Dinge in her yellow <laughs> outfit, looking but dazzled. Oh, the shoes! C'est du bling bling, ces chaussures. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Until next time, see you again. Bye. Me, I define my way. My brother, find your way too. Life now turn my tongue. Demain pour toi va sortir Me a dit find my way My sister find your way too Life not on my tongue Demain pour toi va sortir So just follow me yo oh. Ah, uh. eh, uh. ah uh. So just follow me yo oh, oh, oh. Uh. Eh, oh. Ah, eh, eh, oh Moi là tu me wanda wanda Nous on s'en rechappe en fait de fala fala Toi tu sais au quoi tu fais de hala hala You de hala hala, mais you de hala hala, eh 